So, we will be looking into the number system. So, number system that tells us how can we store or represent numbers in a digital system. So, this is a very important part because uh, this will tell us how can we do processing over those numbers and all and what are the uh, limitations and what are the advantages uh, that we can get of different number systems that we can think about or what are what are in, uh, in general the number systems that are available in the in a computer or uh, say for, for the sake of simple mathematical interest also you can look into this topic which will be t telling about uh, different ways in which you can represent numbers. So, any number system that we look into, so it will have two important components in it. One is called the base of the number system, uh, one is called the base of the number system. So, where we talk about uh, some uh, quantity that we represent like how many digits can be, there, how many symbols can be there, different types of symbols and the other part is the symbols. So, any number system that we talk about, so these are the two things that you have to tell. So, you have to tell me a base. So, as soon as you tell me a base, we can assume that there will be so many different types of symbols that you can have. Now, uh, a number system uh, may be consisting of different number of digit, digits, like I can have say a decimal number system where base is 10. So, as soon as we know that the base is 10, we know that there are 10 uh, symbols and th those symbols are conveniently represented as the, the uh, say 0, 1, 2 up to 9. Okay. So, if you are talking about a binary number system, the base is 2 and in that case, the symbols only 2 symbols are needed. So, we represent them as 0 and 1. So, uh, so the, we, there, there is of course, some value associated with this. So, the convention that we follow is that in a decimal number system, so 0 represents the integer value 0, 1 represents the integer value 1 and similarly the 9 represents the integer value 9. In a binary number system, the base is 2 and the symbols that we have are 0 and 1. So, here also we have got the assumption that 0 represents the integer 0, integer value 0 and 1 represents the integer value 1. In an octal number system base is 8 and naturally there will be 8 symbols and we have got the symbols 0 to 7. Hexadecimal number system the base is 16. Now here is the problem because so far whatever we had, so we have sufficient number of symbols to represent individual uh, values of the symbols. Now we do not have that, so now you see that up to 0 to 9 we take, so these are, these are the 10 numbers that we have. After that. So, we do not know any symbol. So, what is uh, done is that this A, B, C, D, E, F, so they have been taken as symbols. And here actually comes the um, thing that I was talking about, the value associated with the uh, symbols. So, this A, it is associated with the value 10, the integer value 10. Similarly, this B, so this is associated with the integer value 11. So, C associated with integer value 12, that way F associated with integer value 15. So, you can you can say that instead of this a, b, c, d, I will be using some other notation alpha, beta, gamma, delta like that. So, there is nothing wrong in using some different notations for these symbols, but what is required is that you have to tell what is the corresponding integer value for the symbols, otherwise you will not be able to represent the uh, uh, some quantity in that number system. Okay. The next uh, thing that we need to know or need to understand is like whenever you are representing some number, so you have to tell how many uh, digits are you allowing for the numbers. Like if I say that I have a, if I say that I have got decimal number system, okay. so as, as soon as I say decimal, so I know that the digits that I can have are 0 to 9. The next question is how many, how many digits I can, I can use, how many digits for a number. So, if you are trying to say that, so if I say that the, I will be using 3 digits, so you can say as if I have box like this and in this box, so there are 3 places. Okay. So, in the first place you can put a digit say 2, so here you can, uh, you, you can put a symbol 2, here you can put a symbol 5, here you can put a symbol 9. So, as soon as I limit this value to 3, 
So, you can understand the, the maximum value that I can have in this system is 999, not more than that. So, I can the, the, the this system can represent numbers from 0 to 999. So, this number of uh, um, digits that we are using for representation that is vital. So, whenever we are talking about uh, so this computers or the processors, we will see that it is a 16 bit processor or 32 bit processor. So, essentially what it means is the, the information that it can handle, the size of the data that it can handle as the basic processing unit. So, that is, the, that, that is going to limit the number of digits here. So, uh, going back to the point that we were discussing, so we have got this number systems, they are, the, they are base values and their um, uh, symbols are like this. Then uh, we can say uh, answer like whether they are used by human or not. So, of course, this, uh, this is a bit uh, tricky like somebody may be very comfortable with hexadecimal number system and may be always writing in terms, in, term, in, ter in terms of the hexadecimal digit. So, that is very much possible, but normally it is not so. So, from our school days we are familiar with decimal number system. So, we will be uh, we, uh, we say that it is used by humans where the others binary, octal and hexadecimal are not. Okay. Then uh, we can we uh, so, so they are used uh, in computers. So, decimal number system is not used in computers and then uh, we can have this uh, binary number systems used octal and hexadecimal number system. Now, you see that while uh, talking about this one thing I have uh, um, uh, I have purposefully uh, avoided where uh, can we have a number system with base 1. Okay? So, that we have not talked about. So, answer is definitely yes, we can have a base 1 number system as well. So, uh, so the here uh, if I say it a base 1 number system, so that is a, that is a unary number system. So, since base is 1, base is 1, so I can have only a single symbol. So, number of symbols, number of symbols that you can have is equal to 1. So, if I decide that by the symbol that we will be using is also 1. Then if I ask you to represent 10, uh, the quantity 10 in this number system, then what you will do? You will write 10 such 1s. Fine because I do not have any other symbol. So, as, as many value I want, so I, I needed a quantity 10 to be represented. So, I put 10 such ones. I need, if I need to represent the quantity uh, 0, so I do not put any of these things. So, the none of the ones are there. So, if I want to represent 5, then 5 such ones are there. So, this is unary number system. So, it, it can be used, but uh, uh, this is uh, not used because of uh, it does not uh, does not make it amenable to the processing that we have possible with uh, other other number system the other bases basically so that is the reason why this is not done but it is very much possible the unary number system okay so in our discussion so we'll be concentrating mostly on these number systems and uh, so this uh, decimal number system. So, if we say that quantity is 0, 1, 2, 3, 7, uh, so the 0 in binary will be represented as 0, in octal also 0, hexadecimal also 0, 1 uh, will also be represented same, but 2 onwards there will be problem because 2 cannot be represented by uh, the symbols of binary number system. So, I need to use 2 symbols 1, 0 to represent 2. Similarly, once 2 is done, so 2, 3, so they can be represented by binary number systems. Then uh, octal will the octal and hexadecimal they don't find problem till seven. Okay, so the, we have got enough uh, symbols to represent the numbers. But after that, of course, uh, the, the problem starts coming. Like octal faces problem from eight onwards. So eight has to be represented by two symbols, two digits like one zero, nine by one one like that. So that way till uh, fifteen hexadecimal does not face any problem. But if you are going to sixteen then of course, hexadecimal will uh, have to have 2 digits now. Okay? So, this will be 16, so that way it will grow. So, this way these uh, numbers uh, are uh, or the quantities they will be represented in different number systems. So, this uh, talks about the conversion between the bases. Okay? So, these are the possible conversion like uh, uh, all these number systems we can convert from one form to another form. So, decimal to binary 
binary to decimal, decimal to octal, octal to decimal. So, like that we can convert uh, between these number systems uh, very easily and uh, this, so ultimately in a computer system, so it understands the binary number system. So, there of course, uh, it does not have any bearing, other number systems it does not have any bearing. So, truly speaking, if we are learning about this digital circuit class, so digital circuit course, we do not need to learn about the other number systems. Okay? So, that is just for uh, our understanding of the binary number system. So, truly speaking, so if we know the binary number system well, so we are done, we do not need to know others. But, uh, because uh, we are familiar with other number systems, so we will be uh, looking into their conversion to uh, make us feel comfortable with the number system. So, 25, so 25, so normally uh, while writing the numbers, so we do not write this base part, when the, uh, because in our day to day life or from our school days with the numbers that we know, they are all base 10 number system. So, will be, uh, but uh, if you if you want to make it explicit, then we do it like this after the number at the suffix we write the base. So, this 25 to the base 10 is equivalent to 11001 to the base 2. So, in a binary number system, so this is 11001. It is equivalent to 31 to the base 8 octal number system and it is again equivalent to 19 to the base 16 that is hexadecimal 19. So, all these numbers are equivalent. So, we will be looking into some conversions from between these number systems to just to uh, understand this conversion process. So, we will be uh, looking into the conversion of decimal to decimal like decimal numbers how is it converted to decimal. So, this will give us the understanding. So, you see that we are not uh, uh, going to uh, so decimal to decimal conversion as such is meaningless, but this will this will just give us a recapitulation of our school days knowledge about how these numbers are uh, actually uh, representing some quantity. So, in this uh, in a num in a in a number like 125 this that the, the, there are three digits 1 2 and 5 but all of them are not representing uh, values of equal strength okay so uh, the number 5 so when you are uh, looking into the number 5 so actually it is representing the number 5 into 10 to the power of 0 that is equal to 5 so this 2 here so this is actually representing 2 into 10 to the power of 1 that is 20 and this 1 here is representing 1 into 10 to the power of 2 that is 100. So, the, 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 the symbol that we have, so the value of it multiplied by the some weighted value of the base. So, that is uh, going to be the contribution of a particular digit. So, a digit is, so whenever we are talking about a digit, so digit uh, contribution digit contribution is equal to the uh, the value of the digit value of it multiplied by base taken to the power of the position of the digit So, this is the overall formula that we are getting. So, this is uh, digit contribution is value of it multiplied by base to the power of position of the digit. So, this uh, position is uh, 0. So, it is contribution base to the power 0. This 2 is at position 1. So, this is 10 to the power 1 and this 1 is at position 2. So, it is 10 to the power 2. So, this weight varies with the position. Okay. So, So, next we will look into, so, so this will tell us like how do, how do we do the conversion. Now, when we are converting say binary to decimal, so that the technique that we have to follow is multiply each bit by 2 to the power n, where n is the weight of the bit. As I said that any uh, number, uh, when you are trying to get the value of a um, contribution of a um, bit or, or a digit, it is the value of the digit multiplied by weight uh, weight of the digit and the weight of the digit is coming from the base to the power n where n is the position of the digit. Now, in case of binary number system, so we have got only two digits possible, uh, zero, two symbols possible 0 and 1 
and anything multiplied by 0 gives 0 only. So, we can say that okay, it is, uh, a, so we can just write it multiply each bit by 2 power n. So, this weight is the position of the bit starting from 0 on the right and then add the result. So, here is an example. So, this is the, uh, this is a binary number, okay, so 6 bit binary number. So, this is the bit 0, okay. So, this uh, 1 into 2 to the power 0, so that the position 0, then 1 into 2 to the power 1, then 0 into 2 to the power 2. So, that way it is growing. So, if you just get the corresponding contribution, so this is 1, this is 2, this is multiplied by 0. So, the contribution of the uh, bit uh, 2 is 0, then uh, contribution of bit 4 is also 0, others are contributed to some value. So, that way it gives 43 in the decimal number system, because these values that we are taking, so they are the decimal values. Okay. So, since they are the decimal values, so that is ultimately giving me a decimal number 43. Now, in a similar line, so we can convert octal number to decimal number. So, multiply each digit by 8 to the power n. So, in case of octal number system, so base is 8. So, we multiply each digit by 8 to the power n, where n is the weight of the digit. And the, again, the same thing that weight is the position of the digit starting from 0 on the right and then we add all the results. So, this is 724 to the base 8. So, 4 into 8 to the power 0, that is the contribution is 4. 2 into 8 to the power 1, contribution is 16. 7 into 8 to the power 2, the contribution is 448. So, you sum them up, so it becomes 468. So, that way we can convert this, uh, uh, we can convert an octal number into a decimal number. Hexadecimal to decimal, Again, the similar way we can do multiply each digit by 16 to the power n. So, base is 16. So, we take it to the power n where n is the weight of the digit and then we uh, um, uh, the weight uh, so that then, then we just add the results. So, in a similar way, so a b c to the base 16. So, 6 c into 16 to the power 0 and the value of uh, c is 12. Okay, so, that as I said that each uh, symbol, it has got some corresponding integer value in the number system. So, and for hexadecimal number system, so A is 10, B's uh, integer value is 11 and C's integer value is 12. So, that way, so these values are multiplied by uh, the powers of 16. So, that way we get the value 2748. So, this is the, uh, this is the corresponding decimal value for this a b c to the base 16 in hexadecimal system. Okay. So, that way if you want to go to the decimal, so you can do it in this fashion. So, you can uh, you can multiply by uh, the, uh, you can multiply uh, by the uh, weight of the uh, base and then we can give, go to the decimal system. But the other side, the decimal to binary octal and hexadecimal conversion. So, that for that we need to divide. Okay. For decimal to binary, if you want to convert, so you can uh, you can convert into we can divide by 2 and we can keep track of the remainder. So, the first remainder is bit 0, second remainder is bit 1, etcetera. So, for the sake of understanding, if we think about a decimal to decimal uh, conversion, how do we do this thing? Okay. So, we have seen by multiplication technique, but uh, you can you can if you think about uh, this decimal to decimal conversion say the number say 567 okay so 567 so i am looking for decimal to decimal conversion so what it says is that you divide by the base of the number system so if you divide uh, this uh, 567 by 10 so what you will get the value 56 okay as the quotient and the reminder is 7. Then you divide again 56 by 10. So, what you get is 5 with reminder as 6 and what this 5 divided by 10. So, the you get uh, you get this uh, 0 and the reminder is 5. Now, what you do? For getting the converted form, so you just write down these reminders from this side. Okay. First reminder, the, the latest reminder is 5, previous to that 6 and previous to that 7. 
So, this is the way we are converting the numbers. Okay. So, same thing applies to any other number system. So, this is with respect to decimal. So, you can do it with respect to any other number system. So, we will see that while we are converting from uh, decimal to binary. So, in yes, yes, so in the, since in binary system the base is 2, so we will go on dividing by 2 and we will track the remainder value. Say what is 125 uh, decimal to binary. Okay. So, you divide 125 by 2, so 62 uh, is the quotient and 1 is the remainder. So, we divide again uh, 62 by 2, so you get 31 as the quotient and 0 as remainder. Divide 31 by 2, you get 15 as quotient and 1 as remainder. Divide 15 by 7, 15 by 2, get 7 as quotient, 1 as remainder. Divide by 2, 3 as quotient, 1 as remainder. Then again divide by 2, get 1 as quotient and 1 as remainder. Again divide by 2, the quotient becomes 0 and remainder is 1. So, at this point we stop the similarly what we did in by in the decimal number system, we do the same thing here and so we get this. Uh, so, now we start writing from this side. So, this 1 1 1 1 1 0 1. So, this is the thing. Okay. So, this is the conversion. So, this way we can convert a uh, decimal number into binary number. So, if we uh, uh, looking for other way the octal to binary number system, so conversion. So, one thing that you can do is octal, so you can uh, you can you can come this way. So, you can convert this octal to decimal and then from decimal you can come to binary. So, this is one avenue. Other straightforward avenue for octal to binary conversion is you can uh, uh, do it some sort of grouping of bits because in octal system the base is 8 and in binary system the base is 2. So, you can group uh, 3 bits of uh, uh, binary numbers sorry you, you can you can you can you can uh, convert each uh, um, uh, octal digit by a 3 bit binary number. And because of this the divisibility of this uh, two bases of this base 2 of binary and uh, base 8 of octal. So, this octal digit boundaries are similar to this uh, binary number boundaries. So, uh, so that that is why so this uh, each octal digit will form a 3 bit uh, boundary for the binary number system. So, you can convert octal to binary. So, you can directly convert individual uh, digits uh, of this octal number system into binary number and get the result. So, what is 705 to the base 2? So, 7 is 111, 0 is 000 and 5 is 001. So, you can get it like this. So, or other way you can say that okay, I can convert it in, uh, in the so, 705, so if you convert this 705 to decimal, so you will get uh, 7 into 8 to the power 2 plus 0 into 8 to the power 1 plus 5. So, it is uh, 64 into 7. Okay. So, so, it is uh, 64 into 7. Okay. So, uh, this is 448 uh, plus uh, uh, we have got this plus 5. So, that is uh, 4, uh, 453. Now, this 453, so, so this 453 as I was telling, so you can convert it into binary. So, this is uh, 22. 13 that is 6, so 1, then 2, 1, 1, 3, 0, then 2, so this is uh, 56, 1, then 2, 28, 0, then 2, 14, 0, then 2 divide by 2, 7, 0, remainder is 0, so this is 3, 1, this is 2, 1 1 2. Okay. So, then we have to write in this order 
for the uh, conversion into binary. So, this is 111000101. So, either you can do it like this. So, you can take this individual uh, digits and then uh, convert them directly into 3 bit uh, binaries. So, you can get it uh, directly from octal to binary or you can just uh, you can convert to uh, decimal number system and then from the decimal number system again divide by 2. So, it is a slightly longer way of doing it. Uh, but that uh, we are we are doing it for the sake of our confidence that okay this the method is correct okay so next we'll next we'll look into uh, this hexadecimal to binary conversion so here uh, just like the octal system so we took uh, uh, three bits uh, each octal digit was taken separately and uh, they converted into 3 bit uh, pattern. So, here also we will be taking individual hexadecimal digits and then convert it into 4 bit equivalent because that uh, hexadecimal 16. So, that can go can, it can represent uh, uh, values from 0 to 15 and we will need 4 bit for representing uh, this 0 to 15 in the binary number system. So, the same thing that is suppose 10 a f to the base 16. So, what is the value in the binary number system? So, you can just uh, take the four uh, digits and then convert them into uh, uh, into binary numbers, the four bit binary numbers and that is the result. So, you can just verify this by doing the similar exercise that is converting this into decimal and from decimal converting it into binary, but that is a lengthy process. So, we are not doing it. Of course, you can say that okay, this 0, 0, 0, so these uh, three zeros are not necessary because they are the leading zeros and they do not have any uh, contribution to the overall value of the number. So, you can ignore them. So, um, uh, but this is just for the sake of completeness. So, it has been done like this. Now, how to convert decimal to octal? Okay. So, just like decimal to binary, we divided by 2 and kept uh, a track for, uh, for the remainder. So, here also we, we do the same thing, we divide by 8 and keep a track for the remainder. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4 to the base 10 converting to, to hexadecimal uh, sorry octal number system, we divide by 8. So, remainder is 2, proceed another step, remainder is 2, then another step, remainder is 3 and then another step, so remainder is 2. So, the number that we get is 1, 2, 3, 4 to the base uh, 10, the decimal number is basically 2, 3, 2, 2 to the base 8 in the hexadecimal number system in the octal number system. So, in this way we can convert between the number systems and uh, by dividing by the base of the number system by so and keeping track of the reminders.